Hi guys, this is Crush, and today I intend to play Pathfinder Adventures. I haven't played this before, but I am a big fan of D&D, and I know that Pathfinder was grown from D&D. Although this may be something completely different, I still want to try it out. So let's just jump right into it. Tutorial chapter. Okay then. Let's check out this tutorial. Welcome to Pathfinder. Blah, 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 blah. It's a role playing game driven by cards and dice. In these tutorials, you will be controlling Mary Ciel, a rogue with high dexterity and great combat ability. Your characters in Pathfinder Adventures take turns searching for the villain by exploring locations. A turn is broken up into multiple phases. Give a card, explore, move, discard and end turn. We'll discuss each of those phases in depth in future tutorials. Okay. For now we will only worry about exploring locations. By exploring locations, adventurers can find many different types of boons. Helpful cards including weapons, armor, allies, and items. Click the location deck to have Mariziel explore her location. You know what, I'm gonna do these tutorials by myself so that you don't actually have to uh, watch me do all this tedious stuff and you can just enjoy the adventure. So the skip is coming right now. Okay, it took me a little while to figure this out, but uh, yeah. I don't have access to more than two characters, even though it's recommended to have three or four on this campaign. And apparently I can't unlock anymore. For no apparent reason, really. I have no idea. But let's just roll with it, I guess. So I am playing with Nezaira the Rogue and Feral the Cleric. And, uh, let's see, we are going into the first chapter called Brigandum, oh. <laughs> and the villain is Jubrile Visky, henchman bandits. During this scenario, if a monster's power causes you to recharge one or more cards, do so, then draw the same number of cards you recharged. Whoa, okay. Fair enough. Let's start, see what this... Oh, this works. I have played the tutorial already, so... Okay, Sandpoint. Well, I've been in worse places. On the upside, easy money can often be made in these backwater holes. Beware, places like this provide easy prey to those with dark intent. You there, you look equipped and able. I can get a supply shipment past the waterfront these days. That brigand Gibral of whiskey and his thugs are robbing honest folks in the streets. Our incompetent sheriff can seem to do a thing about it. Assuming you have the coin, happy to do business with you. If I get to blood in my daggles, all the better! It is Sar Sarenre's will that this criminal is prevented from doing more harm. Okay, so we're hunting down a criminal! <laughs> okay, during this... Oh uh, yeah, we're at this... This is a nice town, isn't it? Oh, Jubral Whiskey. Before you act, reach... Ouch! He's a bitch. Jubral Whiskey. Wanted on charges of blackmail. Conspiracy. Crimes against decency. <laughs> Grave robbing. Smuggling. Thievery. Varied mayhem. And murder. I like this guy already. Right. Let's hunt this guy down. And... Oh, oh my god. Are those his henchmen? They are... Ugly! That... That doesn't even look like a bandit. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> the difficulty def to defeat is increased by the scenario's adventure deck number. Before you act, recharge a card. <clears throat> Lots of recharging, but at least I don't discard them. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to choose the location this henchman came from. Or close the... Oh yeah, but that's like... Standard. Right. Oh, that was looking okay. You may want to review your character's skills, powers, and cards before you choose a location. Now I know about their skills. Mm. But let's see. 
Summon. Okay, she. That's where I'll send Nezaira. And wisdom or survival. I okay. I need to check on her skill here at at least. Uh, it can be useful to look at. Yeah, I know. Uh, wisdom. Her wisdom is high as hell. Uh, I'll send her to this to the woods. All right then. Pick your turn order. Yeah, that's fine. That I guess you can play this in hot seat. I mean, you have turn orders. You have different characters, but you only have two characters to begin with, and. I don't know if you can unlock more. I don't. I don't know. I find that some things of this game they're very poorly designed. But at least these aspects are very great, and the tutorials w was very thorough. Okay. Have, uh, you may use your character's power for this check. Click the power icon below your portrait. Remember, you can click your portrait to check the character sheet. What icon? How do... What? What icon was it was supposed to check? There was... There is no icon. Oh, look at that. Intelligence or craft. Yeah, but... Mm. Yeah, what does it do? Banish this card and choose a character at your location to shuffle... Mm. Mm, no, I'll ignore it. Not worth it. It's not that great. Wait, did it just? Was it just reshuffled? Okay. Uh, what does he do? Reach out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep exploring. So let's just find another co collapsed ceiling. At the top of the screen, there's a check drop-down panel. If you click it, you can shoot. Yeah, yeah, that was what I did. When encountered Bane is evaded, it is shuffled into the, lo the location deck it came from. After you... This is not a Bane. After you may discard a blessing or any ally to explore again. The difficulty to defeat is increased by the number of scenarios adventure deck number. Shit. That's four. Right? I really don't understand some things. It's very vague. They need... There's too many aspects to this game, really, to get into it easily. If you fill the check to defeat by four or more, you are dealt one combat damage that may not be reduced. Ooh. If undefeated, leave this barrier face up on its location deck while it's there. Characters at this location may not move and encounter it as the first exploration of each of their turns. Oh, that's a son of a bitch. I need to beat it. Uh, disable or stealth? Or you check to defeat a barrier. Thieves tools. Reveal this card to defeat a barrier whose highest... No, this could come in handy. I'll actually spend the burglar because I don't really want to get trapped by... Oh, come on! Bitch! Oh... Okay, I guess I'm stuck. Let's see. Oh, I found a bandit, one of his henchmen, right away. And I need to recharge something. What does the holy water do? Discard this card to evade a bane that has the undead trait. Bandit this card to defeat a bane you encounter. That has the undead trait. After, okay, I don't think there's going to be a lot of undeads here. So I'm just going to throw the... Oh, right, it's a recharge. And now I need to defeat him. And I don't have a very high success rate. Now I have way higher. And I did it. He's gone. Excellent. If you def And now I can close this location. So I will try that. And it's this wisdom save. I have 58% chance. I will actually raise that to 93%. <laughs> Which I probably... I was probably smart to do that. Because that one dive was very low. Close the location, banishes, and remain in remaining cards in the deck. Oh yeah, bitch, defeated your ass. Right, and now for this asshole. 
Uh, Ma I didn't name her Marisia. I named him the Zaira. Why is... Ah. Mr.'s evade power allows you to avoid encountering a bane for one turn. Uh, but... Oh, she can help? Oh, because she's got those blessings. Uh, crowbar. How can this help here? Reveal this card to add one die to your non-combat strength check or your check to defeat a barrier that is a lock or obstacle threat. It's obstacle, so let's reveal it. This should do it. So please! Yes! Yes! We're through! And... Uh, well, I don't have any weapons. So I I won't, don't want to risk anything. I know I played the tutorial. Why do you need to remind me of stuff? And why doesn't that leave? I hit... Okay, what? Uh, succeeded dexterity or stealth? No. Uh, ooh. She's not good at either of these. Uh. Dexterity or stealth? How is her dexterity on stealth? Shh, it's bullshit. I, I'll just go there then, I guess. Crap. Okay. She's not that great at doing things on her own. Uh oh. Recharge this card to add 1d4 to your arcane or divine check. I mean, her arcane is already high. Uh. But she can, it can also recharge a card that has a magic trait. I don't really understand why. Uh, I got her anyway. So you are, yeah, I know. That's why I'm doing this. So that I can instead f look around again. Oh, come on. He dealt one range damage. Yes, I know. It's so annoying. I, I played the tutorial. I was pretty much forced to. Uh huh. I'm gonna recharge that so uh, that he didn't deal that damage. Uh, I can't beat him as it is, so I'll have to use Blessing of the Gods. And come on, please! Yes, he's down. Goblin Commando. I, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. I will draw up to my... Yes! I got a mace! That's amazing. <laughs> Bad joke. Um, potion of healing. Banish this card and choose a character at your location to shuffle 1D for random card from his discard pile into his deck. Mm. No, thank you. Yes, I know. It's gone now. And I think I'm gonna discard him because... I don't know. I want it. Again? I don't want it. What do you not understand, game? I don't want the potion of healing. I don't need it. Not right now, anyway. I prob <laughs> probably need it later. Mercenary. The difficulty to defeat is increased by the scenario's adventure deck number. I don't know what the adventure deck number is. <sighs> oh, well. Mm, I can probably beat him. Reveal, uh, 31% chance, what the hell? Uh, I'll have to try, I mean, wow, that was bad. What does mending do? No, uh, I'll use the chain mail. And how much did it deal? It doesn't say anywhere. Discard eight. Uh, I'm gonna have to bury this because that would have been devastating to me. Uh, this is gonna be difficult for her. She's not strong at all. Would have been better to have a warrior with me, really. She oh, she can help. Guidance. Discard this card to add one to any check. After playing this card, if you do not have the divine skill, banish it. Otherwise, you may succeed as a 
Divine full check to recharge. The, okay, what's our divine skill? Divine, 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 divine. There. Whoa, okay. Yeah, she can help. Oh, no, 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 no. She doesn't need to help. She, uh, does she? This is a tough one. I got the caltrops, but this is not... This shouldn't be so difficult. Oh, well, I'll... I'll, I'll defeat it. It's gone now. I, I don't like it, but I... She needs a weapon on hand! And goblin. Damn it. Reveal. It's a better chance. Uh, I'm gonna discard that as well. Hope to succeed. I rolled so insanely low! And I'm gonna have to... Oh my god, no. I have to discard everything. Ugh, oh my god. Why do I roll so low? Now is a 12! Come on, I don't... I did... Oh, I'm so screwed. She's so bad. Nah, well, she got a weapon. At least give her a weapon. Troubadour. Uh, what was that? Banish this gun and choose a character at your location to automatically succeed. Might as well. For the sake of handling things. And then I will search the next destination. Or rather keep exploring okay I'm doomed can she help somehow yes she can uh, I'll discard that is 67 okay let's try why do I keep rolling so low Burry I can't afford to discard everything all the time come on be kind to me Uh, this is painful. Uh, uh, yeah, she can succeed. Let's hope that I... Yeah. Thank you. Finally, it goes my way. Not that I needed it right now. But now she can use that to explore more. Tr Ooh, treasure map. If defeated, examine the top card of your location deck. If it's a boon, you may draw it. If undefeated, you may banish this barrier. I'll just roll. And I succeed. Okay, so I know that that guy is around. Fair enough. Let's search. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I can't afford. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to evade. She's got a dagger, but it's not her greatest weapon. Ah, oh, this is so hard. There is going to be a goblin in my face now. But I, I think I can beat him. For your combat check, reveal this card to use your strength or melee skill. You may additional discard that I'll reveal it. That didn't help a lot. Can I change my mind? No, I can't. Okay, discard that and beat this bastard. Thank you. No, I don't dare to explore too fast. It's dangerous. Dagger. Mm, I have one, so I don't really care. But of course I get it because I don't care. What what does it do anyway? For your combat check, reveal this card to use your dexterity. Re okay, you may additionally recharge this card to add another. Okay, when playing another weapon that you haven't already played on this check, you may discard this card to add. Uh, wow. I'll throw this away. I already have one. 
and she can't search more. Uh, what does she find? A mercenary! Uh, wait. Ten? Why is this game not gentle? I have to discard it to have a chance. And... Why do you hate me, game? You only dealt one damage, though. <laughs> oh, come on! Bandits? Yeah, why not? I have to do something at some point. Throw with recharge crowbar. All right. I'll use the dagger. Uh, I have twelve percent chance. It says that I can use when playing another weapon that you haven't already played. On this check, you may discard this card and. Uh, I'll actually recharge. And I beat him. Yes, there will be a cr zombie. I won't evade. Summon banes that are evaded are destroyed. It's not a bane though. After you may discard a blessing or an ally to explore again. Uh, um... I can do sneak attack. What is this? Banish this card and choose a character at your location to automatically succeed at a non-combat perception check. This is the one I will recharge. And then I will reveal the darts. And here we go. That was just... Holy crap, I roll low. Why does the game hate me so much? What did I ever do to the game? Right. And she's doomed again. Wait, she can help? Yeah. Blessing of the gods, I need it right now. Uh, guidance. It helps a little bit. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, this is frustrating! What can I do with this? Uh, Reshot this card to reduce combat damage uh, dealt to you by two. If proficient with light armor, you may play another armor on this check. If you played a weapon that has... Um, recharge. And recharge. Damn it! Recharge. Why would I ever want to discard it? Sucks, and she's going down. She's dangerously low on cards, but I can't do anything. Uh, okay, she needs to help out here. Go down there. I am so screwed. This game is so hard. Sage? Oh, she can help. Guidance. It may actually be a good idea for them to team up on the in this scenario because it's not going well at all. I don't know. I didn't even read. She will be fine. It's only if she rolls a one that she actually discards that. What does the sage say then? Reach out this card to add a one d six to you non combat intelligence or wisdom check. Discard this card to explore your location. Yeah, discard. A bandit? Yeah, I'll recharge the thieves tool. And... Good god, I'm going down, aren't I? I'll use the dots. And actually have a small fighting chance. Come on, come on, come on! I roll way too many ones for it to be a coincidence. 
But I can re-roll. I have two. I don't stand a chance. Well, pretty much not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this game. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying because this game is so hard. What the hell? I'm ch I don't stand a chance. Is it just poor game design? I feel like it's poor game design here. Recharge that shit. Ugh. What am I supposed to do then? There's no way that I will succeed. Uh, if defeat to draw random new armor, I have thieves tools. It discovers how to defeat a barrier. Yeah, I'll, I don't want to take any chances anymore. After playing this card, see the disable H shit. I'll try to recharge. And I succeeded, thank you. What was that? Half plate? That may actually help up a little tiny bit. Recharge this card to reduce combat damage. To Ooh, that's good. But considering the amount of damage the deal to. What the hell? It's immune to mental and poison traits. If the check to defeat does not have the magic trait, the specter is undefeated. Uh, does it? Banish is got to defeat a bane. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I guess. Because the, I think that gave me the magic trait. I'm not sure. Recharge. Not a one, not a one, not a one. It's a six. Good, good, good. I'm alive. Barely. Mercenary. Okay, I'm I'm going to exhaust this. You can add that. You have to because I can't afford to, at this point to fail another check. Do I reveal or recharge? Uh, it's best to recharge here. And I still I still only have fifty percent chance. Come on. I defeated something! Oh, the odds hates me. Oh, close location. Summon and defeat a bandit henchman. Oh, shit. I recharged the crowbar. She can't help. I have to roll eight. Of course I roll one. That's like standard for me. It, I'm... What choice do I have? This game is so ridiculously anti the player. It's the game is just it's determined to f have me fail. Guys, I don't know what to do. You know what? 
I'm gonna have to read up on this game because it's ridiculously difficult. And I feel like it, it there has to be something that I'm missing because no game is this difficult just like that. I mean, did they play test this? They must have. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna read up on this and then return in a in another episode and see if I do better then. Now I I'm just gonna give up. Uh, but yeah, I thank you guys for watching my misery. <laughs> My damn misery. Oh, this was miserable. I have to say, oh my god, this I don't understand a thing. Every single enemy was so much stronger than I was. It this at this point, this is worse than Darkest Dungeon and Darkest Dungeon I <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Uh I'll return to you Again, I don't know when, but I will. Uh, take great care of yourselves, guys. Crush out.